Hello everybody, welcome to Bitcoin Daily 9 a.m. Central European Time on the dollar. We do each every day, Monday, Friday, because we gotta know, we gotta know what's happening in Bitcoin, altcoins and everything else. <sighs> we are having a very great day. It's 3rd of July. We've been waiting for this for a very, very long time. And right now we are here, guys. We are here, you can see up here, we are at 3rd of July. This is 2nd July, this is 3rd July, but this is because this is a brand new liquid coin, so this is always one day later. Uh, if you look at any other chart right now, we are on the 3rd of July. Uh, but yes, we have come to the green part of the moons. The moons are happening, guys. The super moons, the that night is the big moon. If you are anywhere in the world and there is no, you know, clouds in the sky, Tonight, look up in the sky, you will see a big fat moon, very, very bright. It might have already happened yesterday, but it's gonna be very, very bright, very big. It's called the super moon, and right now we're going into the super moon cycle from the 3rd of July until the until the 14th of October. There is gonna be super moon cycle. Super moon cycle with the full moons, four so full moons, super moon cycle right now happening over here and this is the, the part that we've been waiting for the big moves that's gonna come the thing that's gonna uh, explode towards upside get everybody to fall more in and then create some kind of top a pivot point that's gonna tell us where the next bull market last part of the bull market is gonna start right so what we are waiting for over here right now in this part uh, right now is this move over here towards upside this move towards upside will create some kind of line over here towards upside we will go one uh, year you know in some kind of consolidation we are unsure whether that's gonna be the downward consolidation or a upward consolidation because that can happen as well but there will be consolidation there will be some kind of line once that you know it's broken towards upside over here we are going into the last part of the bull market now again guys this over here is not the bull market this is just the last part of the bull market the bull market started over here it's already happening it's gonna go all the way up to until 2025 that is the bull market the entire part over here this is what we call exit liquidity pump this is where, uh, you know, the, the money that bought down here, this is where they're going to start selling. So as soon as we start going over here, they're going to be start selling. Just like over here, when we start go coming out over here, this is already where the where, where the sell-off started happening because they bought down at, you know, 3K and they start selling around, the, you know, 30K up here, 10X big money that invested billions and billions started selling into the you know frenzy up here at the top and uh, that's gonna happen as well this so this over here the last part up here is always always the last part of the bull market this is not the bull market entire part is the bull market remember that that is very very important to know uh let's go a little bit back up here just to remove the charts uh, lines a little bit up here there we go and uh, this over here is gonna be the last part of the bull market. But we are not quite there yet. It's gonna take, you know, until the end of 2024. A lot of stuff can happen during this part over here. There is election up here going on as well in the US uh, around November 2024 or something like that, I think. Uh, so, so, you know, it just might be that, you know, that's, that's the place where the new bull market, uh, you know, the last part of the bull market starts. But we are very excited because 3rd of July is here right now. It's... Uh, uh, it's happening over here through July we come to the place and if you look at the chart right now There is nothing that tells us this this is any kind of top over here it, If not anything else, it looks like a bull flag up here towards upside So the next move if you just look at a bull flag over here towards upside is something like you know give or take Give or take up to you know, 36k which will leave everybody, you know everybody in some kind of what are you gonna say in some kind of uh Feeling of uh, left out four more emotions, four more emotions, something like that. Before we start, there is gonna be two parts to this Bitcoin daily because I actually wanted to do altcoin preparations part three. If you are not aware of that, we've been doing, you know, we've been uh, fixing the charts and we've been doing the altcoin preparation, uh, uh, you know, live streams uh, for the last two days. YouTube to late adopter videos. If you go up here, you'll see that uh, we have been doing the altcoin preparation so we are fixing the charts a little bit if you go to live up here you can see here uh, part one and part two uh, let's look at the charts and prepare for altcoins so we just been fixing the uh, fixing the uh, our we've been fixing our we've been fixing our watch list over here towards downside and uh, you know trying to put 
the coins in the right you know sectors and uh, you know so we can easily uh, easily track the coins because that it's it has been very messy stuff so you can see up here we got the uh, later one chains we got a uh, sexies dexies we got uh, ai coins we got a uh, modern coins meme coins and stuff like that so it's gonna be easier to you know follow which sector is pumping which not is pumping uh and it's gonna be easier for us to uh, eliminate because i had a lot of you know stupid coins up here like uh, you know fifi you know firo file and stuff that right lrc so all of these crappy coins i want to remove i just want to focus on on whatever people are talking about right so that's going to be part two of this bitcoin daily so we're going to continue with that but before we start that because i know there are people that just want to know what's happening in bitcoin we're going to talk a little bit about bitcoin and the next moves and after that we're going to do the uh the altcoin preparation part three that said dr Karlov is in the chat hi man how you doing linda Vatan, good afternoon after from the uk hope you're all having a great day i'm having a good day uh, I haven't slept that well, but you know, besides that, I'm having a good day. Dr. Karloff, sir can wait. It was great my surfboard, I guess it, <laughs> I will be at the beach a little bit later now. <laughs> That's good, man. You gotta, yeah, we gotta know, we gotta know, right? And I was just thinking about that. Surfing is a little bit like trading, right? You you go to the beach, you, you take your surfboard, you kind of wait, you wait, you wait for the wave to come. You wait for the right wave to come because not all waves are, you know, made equal. And then you catch the wave and you ride the wave all the way down, right? And the same thing is with trading, right? You sit down on the, on the PC, you wait for the waves, you wait, you wait, you wait, and then you catch the wave and try to ride all the way towards that, right? So there is that. What's up, Badge Guitar? Let's go. We gotta know. We gotta know. Debuting. What's up? I just signed up to buy, but you need your KYC right to trade. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you need KYC to trade. So I'm shilling three links below down there. I'm shilling Bybit, I'm shilling Qcoin, and I'm shilling Binance. Now there is a lot of talk about you know Binance being you know ba the bad guy. You know it's gonna implode and stuff like that. We're also gonna uh, say a quick word about that. But uh, I don't think uh, Binance is gonna implode. Like it, it is the biggest, the most uh, respected you know crypto exchange in in space. Qcoin is one of these things that you, you know uh, small altcoins. You know that's the only place where you get them. They're always first. First, you know, get, uh, listed there, and there is another one that's called Max C that I really want to, you know, start chilling because I've noticed that a lot of coins are on the uh, I noticed that a lot of coins are on Max C first before actually Q coin. So you know, you might actually join that one and shield that one as well. That's it. Thanks for using my link, Batch. <laughs> she Nolan, good morning. How you doing, man? Shin is just uh, before the full moon. So yeah, Shin Nolan is always here when the full moon kicks, kicks in. I've noticed that. Like every time, like, uh, you know, when, there, when there's nothing happening, you know, regular moons and stuff like that, Shin Nolan is not here. But, you know, when we uh, start getting this, you know, super moon stuff like that, it's like he wakes up from the dead. Then, you know, suddenly he's here in chat. Nice to have you here, man. Hi, uh, oh, uh, I'm just late. No, you're not late. Not late. So... This looks over here very nicely. There is no, there is no topping out pattern. Now, the topping out pattern on charts are very, very important. Even up here at the top, up here, this was, it looked a little bit bad, but it's not a topping out pattern because there was no, uh, there was no. What are you gonna say? There was no ex, uh, extreme levels of. Uh, of uh, extensions that are, that are, there were no uh, you know clear cut signs that this is for whatever reason gonna break through very important level of sports down here is a very important level of sport we also drew this one up here where we actually dipped a couple of times be below that but uh, most of time you know we didn't see this you know breakdown of major support levels uh, especially on the weekly time frame that uh, right now are keeping us uh, you know going towards the upside so until this actually over here happens towards us I cannot say that this option up here is actually broken yes it can go down just like over here over here and down but we knew that even this move towards upside up here because this wasn't any kind of topping out pattern it was this, uh, you know some kind of you know high levels and stuff like that but it wasn't any kind of topping out pattern and this broke towards upside the other thing that actually told us that this is going to go towards upside is that we had right now you know the uh, uh, the uh, uh, this candle over here that was the Binance FUD if you remember that was the sec going after Binance like suing them and then the, the next one was uh, coin, uh, uh, Coinbase getting sued and you know we came right back up again and over here we said this must be the bottom like because if you're not because over here we came to very important levels of support levels 25k levels right over here right and you know they failed to push it below the support levels we came to the support levels it bounced we went down there we tried to break it and we uh, managed to get back right back above that again uh that was very very important because over here we failed to break this very important support level not breaking the support level bouncing off the support level like we always said that is a bullish sign and that's what 
that we've been seeing on the charts. Now you can ask yourself, what is the next big thing that's gonna drop us towards downside? Like we can have tether fad, right? Uh, that can always happen. Tether fad is, comes every single year, two, three times a year. Like you know, uh, on average, there is a tether fad. You know, tether is gonna implode. Uh, it never happens. If that happens, we might actually implode and go towards Zansa, right? But you gotta ask yourself, what is the next big thing that's right now? What, what is the next big thing that's happening that's uh, gonna create so much fun that we're gonna drop down right now towards downside? And I just don't see anything right now happening, right? I don't see anything happening right now. And this part over here right now is not actually breaking to, uh, uh, sorry, this uh, part over here is not actually breaking towards upside. There is, there is no weakness in the price. I'm gonna show you that. There is no weakness in the price. So I don't see any kind of fun that can actually push the price down. There was FUD over here that tried to push the price down, failed to do that. We bounced up here towards the 31k levels up here towards upside. Right now we are waiting for this next move towards upside. Once this level, these levels up here above 31k are broken towards upside up here, there will become a whole bunch of FOMO and people will FOMO in on the charts. Now why is that? Because most people, and I say most people because you did not miss this because you are blue balls, you are following this channel. Uh, most people did not miss, uh, uh, sorry, most people miss this but you did not miss this but most people miss this pump over here towards upside because they was not expecting me everybody was talking about the 10k most people miss the second pump up here when i'm going towards downside because they were still talking about 10k up here so the second pump up here towards upside they also missed that you gotta understand a lot of people are still sitting on the si sidelines watching crypto savvy and capo and other you know uh, people being bearish and waiting to break the resistance level and stuff like that, right? They missed that as well. This move towards downside, so there was, uh, they started forming up here, but once it started going towards downside and we had this, uh, you know, Binance and SEC FUD down here, they started ma mass selling down here on the bottom, and then they missed this pump up here. So all of the three pumps that we had right now, up to 30k, most people missed those pumps. The mainstream is not here, the uh, the normies are not here, nobody's here, the only people are here that are people that are being crypto for a long time and following the right channels they have been here and they bought uh, at, at the bottom. But most people did miss this. So what's going to happen next? If we break the 32k levels, because everybody's talking about the 32k levels, what's going to happen after that? Over here at the top, they're going to form more in. They're going to go up to the top. Once everybody forms, it's pretty much over, right? Not only that, we have the ETFs coming out. And I said this before a couple of times, ETFs are a very, very bearish thing. They are bullish right now when they are proposing it, but they are very bearish when they come out. If you remember back in the day, 2019, or something like that. There was a, this uh, a ETF that was uh, gonna be settled in a spot Bitcoin and real Bitcoin called Bucked. Everybody was talking about Bucked is coming, Bucked is coming, adoption is coming, this is coming, right? And of course, it got launched and nothing happened until we actually went down. The, uh, the volume on the, the Bucked was actually very, very low. And uh, the, the thing just went, uh, you know, didn't do anything, you know, it was a sell the news event. And the same thing I'm expecting up here, because you gotta understand, uh, again, the ETFs that uh, BlackRock and Fidelity and Citadel, and all of these other uh, guys are proposing, they're not there to join the mainstream. I said that before, I'm gonna say it again. All the rich people, from Elon Musk to all the YouTubers to uh, me and you, already know how to get Bitcoin. Michael Saylor is buying, Elon Musk is buying, rich people know how to buy Bitcoin. They do not need ETFs if they want to have exposure to Bitcoin. What ETFs are going to do, they are make, uh, gonna, they, they're going to make a platform for a big money to short the market. So that's going to happen and that's what I'm expecting. So I'm expecting once they get launched, there's going to be a lot of uh, short selling. They have acquired a lot of Bitcoin that they can sell, spot sell on the market and push the price down and make a huge amount of money. And that's going to happen. So ETFs when they get launched, that's a bad news. Remember that. But right now we are going to this, uh, you know, part towards upside and they have still these proposals on the ETFs, uh, ETFs, but they're not launched yet. If you remember just a couple of days ago, there was uh, Gary Kensler said that, he, he, you know, and we had a, a small dump over here. If you go uh, small time frames up here, if you got small time frames, this dump over here uh, happened because there came out the news that uh, sec, uh, Gary Kensler said, you know, these uh, ETFs from BlackRock, they are not, in they are inadequate. They are not uh, good enough. You gotta go and, uh, you know, change them a little bit. And the reason I think that's happening is because they, they're not ready because they, they looked at these, you know, filings. I mean, BlackRock is one of the biggest, you know, they decide what's going to happen in the world. SEC doesn't decide anything. BlackRock comes to the SEC and tells them, you know, we want that, this, we want that. And then, and then SEC does it. SEC is just, a, you know, one arm of uh, a bigger, you know, monster that does the thing for them, right? So when they want to, uh, the ETFs to come out, they're going to come out. If they wanted the ETFs to come out now, they would be out right now. 
But no, they need to wait a little bit. So they are like, nah, you know what? We're gonna wait a little. It's not good enough. You know, you need to change something. They don't need to change anything. Everything is good and as it should be, right? The Gary is not the top of the food chain. He's just a pawn uh, for somebody else to do stuff for them, right? And the BlackRock, trillion, tri you know, twenty trillion dollar company, you know, they make a little bit bigger moves than a guy, you know, making a couple of millions a year. You know, I'm just saying that, right? So when ETFs comes out, it's pretty much over. It's pretty much over. Uh, that said over here, everybody missed the moves towards upside. There it is, seems to be no, uh, no, uh, there seems to be no uh, topping out pattern. Over here, we did create a doji. And if you look up here on the CME future chart, there was a doji up here on the weekly time frame. And I said, this might be a little bit bad. And right now we are pulling back up here. So we might have some kind of dump, some kind of, uh, some kind of spring towards upside before we actually go. So if you look at over here on the four hourly time frame up here, we are doing this, you know, zigzag pattern up here. We had already the one dump. We still aren't out of the channel over here towards upside, but can we have a spring up here before we go towards upside? Definitely can, right? That can definitely happen. Uh, but overall, this move up here, I do expect it to go up very much higher than it is right. Uh, it is right now. So beside this, you know, doji at the top over here on the uh, on on the on the on the weekly time frame, there is actually not much. And I, we've been going over this before, even the weekly time frame. If you look at the moving averages and stuff like that, we are above uh, the 20 moving average up here right now. Can we pull back and, uh, you know, just, you know, test, uh, test the moving average or something like that and then bounce, you know, with a spring towards upside? I mean, that can happen, uh, but we are definitely, you know, looking good. When it comes to monthly time frame, weekly time frame, you know, everything on the charts right now is telling us that this looks very, very nice. Over here right now, we have a bullish cross happened. We have a bullish cross happening right now. We are pump pumping towards up. Now, this is a monthly bullish cross, which is very good. So a, a lot of people are watching the monthly cross. There is no divergence on the chart or anything like that. Everything looks nice and dandy. And the big time frames are telling us that yes, we are in a you know strong bu bullish trend towards upside. There is no problem in the paradise uh, and everything looks nice and then can we have a small pullback towards us i definitely can but you know the dips are for buying like we used to say and uh because until something you know big breaks you know it everything is good everything is good that said bitcoin is doing well uh, i haven't been looking too much on the uh on the stock market up here we can go quickly and look at a weekly time frame we'll see up here that uh, that uh, we had a very big candle up here which is actually very very bad candle it can actually go towards outside this is this is that sorry this is two weekly candle up here uh, but two weeks ago, I just created this doji at the top with this big, uh, big week on the downside, which oftentimes is uh, some kind of topping out pattern. Could it be topping out pattern for the stock market? I don't know. It could be that right now the stock market is topping out up here somewhere and it's going to pull down while Bitcoin actually goes towards upside. It could be that because we've seen that, you know, stock market and Bitcoin are not actually one to one correlated, so they can go, you know, upside directions. Uh, so we cannot take this at uh, face value and say that yeah stock market is going down so Bitcoin is going to go down. Nah, it's not working like that. Over here you'll see that S&P 500 is still pumping towards upside. This is still two two week time frame, and the uh, Nasdaq up here. Uh, sorry, this this was this was the Dow Jones. This was done. So my my, my charts are a little bit messed up. Let me see that. So this is the Nasdaq. Nasdaq is still pumping towards upside up here. The uh, the uh, Dow Jones is coming to some kind of you know dodgy up here at the top. Might actually go down up. We do not know. And uh, S P 500 is still pumping towards upside big time to, uh, uh, over here. It managed to break uh, very important levels up here of resistance right now, pumping towards upside, breaking these levels of resistance right now. There are a couple of more levels up here towards the top. It broke this, you know, rising, uh, ri rising, uh, rising wedge over here towards upside as well. It looks very, very bullish, but right now I think even the stock market up here is going for this, you know, last stop up here towards the upside. We have three months left because in July. August, September, and then, you know, start of the October, we are going to get a dump, right? Uh, give or take. Uh, if you look over here on the chart, we said that uh, these uh, super moons are lasting until the 14th October, but you got to know that the 14th October is not uh, actually the topping mount, it's the dump dump date. It's dump date, right? So we can actually top out here and then go sideways up here and then dump uh, all the way down here, right? So it doesn't have to be the very top. It can be before that, just like over here, if you go to the daily time frame, uh, you'll see that in two times, uh, into 2022 or 2021 was it up here this is the big dump date yeah 2021 december 4 2021 over here right that was the big um, uh, you know move towards downside where we actually dropped but that came you know the top actually came a lot you know uh, uh you know before that date you knew that the dump date was the 4th of december but you know the top came a lot before that so we will be right now we will be we will be watching this next move right now towards upside 
that goes up here and we'll be looking uh, for the top before we actually get to the before we actually get to some kind of 14 October up here, we'll be looking for some kind of top over here, right? And uh, it will happen, the top will come before the 14 October, before we actually go down and actually have a dump. At least the way I see it, right? But right now it is good times, it is super moon season, so you know, for next four... For next, you know, couple of months, while people are on vacation, vacation and stuff like that, and they don't know what's happening with the charts, because nobody believes that Bitcoin is gonna go above 40k or stuff like that, right? But, you know, right now, they, even in Norway right now, July is the what we call, what we call, uh, you know, Feles Ferien. It's uh, everybody, like 90% of the country takes a vacation at the same month. You know, the country, you know, literally stops working for one month because everybody takes vacation at the same time and uh, that's called Feles Ferien here in Norway and uh, by the time that's done around August right and they come back we're gonna be all the way up here and they'll be like hey man what's happening with Bitcoin and then I'm gonna start forming it up here at you know at 40k and then we have this you know last move up here at the top somewhere up here when they start forming in and that's gonna be pretty much over right then by the time we get to the to the October we're gonna dump and then all of these people that form in the top they're gonna be left out and there is that. Milan is in the chat. Shilling Turbo. How you doing, man? Dimut, yo, what's up? It's getting interesting. Very interesting. Jurgen, yo, boy. So there is that. So Bitcoin looks good. This over here to me, it doesn't look uh, bad at all. Uh, it could pull back up here. You can see up here that it is, it is hugging this 10 moving average up here a little bit. Uh, so we went up here. We dropped down. We, uh, you know, tried to go up here uh, above these highs up here. We're kind of failing that. I do can see the drop over here towards downside. But, you know, this, 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 uh, uh, I, I'm not that worried because major levels are not yet broken. Major levels are not yet broken. I'm still expecting even without pull towards downside, the dips are still for buying. And this is still going to continue towards the upside. Fellas Ferian, I'm going to add that to my vocal. Yeah, Fellas Ferian. Yeah, so everybody in Norway like takes the vacation in July. Like 90% of country, like eh, you try to do any kind of business, like no, I'm on vacation, no, I'm on vacation. No, you know, our office, you know, is down like by 17%. Uh, so, you know, you gotta, you know, we have different opening hours. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyways, guys, that's Bitcoin. I think Bitcoin looks good. So, Dr. Carla, <laughs> Dutch Ring Racing, you can go to the, you know, take your surfboard and go to the beach. Uh, the rest of you guys, if you want to stay for the rest of the show, we're going to look at the altcoins. So we're going to switch the chart a little bit and uh, we're going to continue with our altcoin season preparation part one, part two. This is going to be part three, which is not going to be on a video in itself. But we're going to continue right now with the part three. And uh, the thing that we're going to do over here is we're going to try to, you know, remove all of this mess of, uh, you know, coins that we have on the list. Because on this list over here right now, we have like 223 coins and it's a little impossible to, you know, do TA on 223 coins. So we're going to shorten it down very, very nicely. We're going to look by, you know, uh, we're going to look uh, section by section and stuff like that. I, I, don't want, I don't want more than 10 coins in each section and stuff like that. Of course, we're going to be adding and removing coins as the altcoin season, you know, is happening. And altcoin season will happen eventually, right uh, right now after this uh, next move that Bitcoin is going to do. If you look at a Bitcoin dominant chart up here, it's already pulling down a little bit. This is a daily time frame. But weekly time frame, as we said, this 200 moving average Bitcoin is going to go all the way up there. And you can see up here, it's already hitting that. It might be doing something like this over here, just like it did previously over here. You'll see up here uh, at the top. It was hitting this 200 moving average up here, then tried to break it up here and then went down, right? So it might be do something the same, uh, the same again up here at 200 moving average on the on the weekly time frame. But we are expecting uh, altcoin season to definitely happen. Uh, before altcoin season happen, the altcoins are gonna start moving. The reason we are doing altcoin preparation is because altcoins are at the bottom, guys. Altcoins are, but I don't know if you guys understand that. Altcoins are at the bottom, and you can see that by you know Mladen Petrov is buying turbo. <laughs> Shilling turbo for his dear life. So, you know, you know, there is that. There is that. So, we're going to take a quick break because I have to go to the bathroom. And when you come back, uh, whoever is left, I want to check out the uh, the rest of the show. The altcoin season. It's going to be pretty boring because it's, you know, it's just the stuff that I have to do. But instead of doing it on my own, it's like, uh, it's easier and nicer and, you know, more effective doing it, you know, live. Because I can get some kind of help from you guys. So we're gonna do that. But first we're gonna take a quick break because I have to go to the bathroom. And then when I come back, we're gonna do that. I also gotta, gotta get me something more something more to drink because my coffee is done. There we go. Let me just see here. I, I have this uh, Bybit affiliate stuff. Chats, all chats. No, chats. 
No, I don't know where it is. Coins, memo coins. I don't know. TLA, TLA. Shit. I don't know. I don't know where it is. Doesn't matter. Okay, quick break and then we come back. I can put some music on. Uh, I can put some music on. Yesterday we were listening to something. What, what are we gonna listen to today? Something chill. Chill lofi music. I don't know. We can, we can listen to lo-fi morning coffee like this is the music that I listen to coffee No, not this one. This is the music that I listen to almost every morning when I wake up early Wait a minute, wait a minute There you go Yeah, this is my morning music no. So we can listen to this, this is really chill. A damn fine cup of coffee. Okay, and uh, we'll be back in, uh, you know, like five minutes or something like that. I need to go to bed, uh, real bad. Love this one, yeah. Have a nice break and a nice day. You too, man. Enjoy the surfs.
Back guys, we'll be back. Big camera, you can see that up there. That's my that's my stuff where I put my clothes on. I'm just gonna change the color a little bit because I see the color is a little bit, you know, a little bit off. Webcams are crap, so there's that. There we go. Waiting for your dump to be over so we can move. <laughs> Maybe I don't know, man. It, it, it is a probability, but uh, it's it's uh, the price is very very bullish, man. The price is very very bullish, so I'm a little bit unsure whether there will be dump or not. So there is that. Where are we gonna start? We're gonna start with uh, Jagger Mario because Jagger Mario said uh, in a. Just watch the last, uh, the first altcoin episode. SNX is not AI, but DeFi. So SNX is DeFi. I don't know about that. What is S SNX crypto? No. Decentralized asset insurance protocol and allows you. Okay, so it's DeFi. So we're gonna move that first. Up here, we're gonna go to the AI. Where, are, where is AI coins? Here's SNX, and we're gonna move that into DeFi. DeFi up here somewhere, right? SNX, Kava, and stuff like that, right? We're gonna move that into DeFi, that's the first thing we're gonna do, and then we're gonna. Not either. Also, if interested, I know it's a lot. Major DEX chains, Avalanche, Joy, and PNG. Phantom, Boo and Spirit, Ray and Velo. I think I heard about a cake. We, I think we have cake on the Dexis. Uh, Dexis, I think we, yeah, we have cake because cake, cake is a big one. But Joe, PNG, Boo, Spirit, Ray and Velo. I think I heard about Velo, so I can, uh, you know, we can. Velo. I'm gonna look at a chart on the weekly time frame. 
Yeah, I don't think I want to end it. I, I mean, there, there's not the coins that are gonna pump. This is gonna pump as well, right? Uh, but uh, you know, we cannot check all the, all the coins. I cannot have a thousand coins on the list. We are not coin market cap. We are not coin market cap. So we, we cannot have that, but you know, this SNX we moved and uh, we got uh, other stuff. So let's move on. The, what we're gonna do right now is just, you know, go through the rest of the list up here and uh, remove coins. So Link, I'm a little bit unsure. Did we move Link into anything else down here? We can move Link into Michelle's because it's an Oracle, right? It's an Oracle, right? And uh, Link is a little bit uh, different. So we're gonna, we're gonna add Link USDT the bottom down here and we're gonna put link into Mr. Cellos because there's that and XRP we put into just coin because it is coin like but you, you know it's Mr. Cellos maybe it's going under Mr. Cellos as well uh, so we're gonna remove XRP over here so yeah uh, this 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 one is done hex I'm a little bit unsure where to put that bitjet and hit BTC and bitjet hit BTC has more data uh, hex we can also put in Miss Chalice. I want to track Hex because Hex and Pulse Chain, you know, important. Bitjet up here. I'm gonna move this one. But uh, we're gonna add... Bitjet Max C. Let me just add all of these three. And see which one has most... Data. Bitjet is most data. Okay, we're gonna keep Bitjet and uh, just follow Bitjet. And we're gonna put this also in Michelle's as well. So X is up there as well. We gotta we gotta remove all these other coins. So this follow, and then we got a small one. R R U S D. Atom. I think we have Atom down here as well. In layer one. Atom is up there, so we can remove Atom up here. And R A R. What is A R? Net cryptocurrency R wave R wave protocol use you need R tokens to access the dApps built on protocol pay minor fees. Is AR layer one? Is AR layer one? R wave. A motor blockchain grow is capacity by our monitor. Protocol is R. Zarvelera, a modern blockchain growing capacity of ours and maximized. Layer zero. What's layer zero? Is there layer zero? A modern blockchain growing capacity of ours and blah blah blah. Finally, layer one. Layer one is another term for blockchain manager. Base layer Ethereum, base consolidation, and so on. Layer one, of course. There are the needs exist that are more layers to consider. Layers that are separate in Ethereum networks, usually built to solve problems of scale. Optimism, for example, is Ethereum layer two that solves the layer one that is high DS fees. The problem storage blocks and size. The other balance chain. Our way is Solana's layer zero. Out of layer ones we discussed here, the question of storage is perhaps the most permanent ones for Solana. If 420 gigabytes per year sounds hard to manage, try four petabytes, four times four million gigabytes to transact history generated every year if Solana is running much more. Be unpredictable and likely even just a centralized SPC to store such amounts of data. The Solana architecture will sign in a way that only requires nodes to store the last two transactions, the rest promote committed our way immutable and able to access at any time by any application. Philosophical trust aside, able to recall the full trust. I have absolutely no idea what a layer zero is. What does our way protocol do? What does it does? Our way is developed to solve data impairments on the internet by offering resilient centralized information preservers information preserver so it's it's a hard drive a score i is a central storage network a yeah, hard drive that connects people so it's going into miss shells right so uh, uh, we're still gonna follow AR, uh, ar and we're gonna add AR, ar under mr chalice right because it's a it's a storage storage stuff but I've heard a lot of talk about the uh, RRA protocols, so you know, we're gonna keep looking at this is July, uh, June lows. 
it's a little bit below that but you can see up here everything right now is still in you know it's coming down to the bottom right it starts and the stuff starts breaking as the altcoin season is happening hex usdc has more data yeah hex usdc has definitely more data uh but uh it's okay it's okay we don't need you know that that much data but we want to see we we have enough data on this one to see when the stuff is gonna break right so right now you know it is down at the bottom you can see up here it is a, you can see my lines <laughs> you can see my lines you know we definitely see that it's on the bottom we definitely see the channel over here it's a bottom so you know hex can actually go right now so that's nice how many coins do you plan to buy i'm not planning to buy i'm planning to trade coins not to trade but you know spot buy and uh, you know once they start moving you know i'm planning to you know rotate the money a little bit into whatever is pumping and uh, the stuff that's not pumping or come to some kind of, I want to, you know, get out of that. So it is important to, you know, know what's, uh, what's happening. So we're going to see that. Okay, so that's our AR is decentralized storage. So basically hard drive. It's a missing chalice, right? Hex not on Bybit. Nah, Hex is not on Bybit. Uniswap, Egypt. Uniswap. Hex, USDT. It's on BitJet on MaxC. Everything is on MaxC, guys. I'm telling you guys, this MaxC Global, they, they're like, they have like all of the coins. I don't know why, but they literally have all of the coins. Doesn't matter what you pick, like random coin, like, I don't know. PS, FS, I don't know what FS is, okay, I picked the wrong one, FA, I don't know, <laughs> they're basically all over the place, okay, let's move on, BAT, BAT is a web browser, but I'm not really excited about BAT, BAT is a web browser, but I'm not excited about it, and uh, last time it did big moves right but it was going sideways until the, you know the last pump and then it, and then it went right then it went 10x right but if it does that again to, uh, over here right now over here something like this up here and then start breaking you know might actually go right so this is only 10x uh, over here uh, and that is is a browser so this this is what bat is this is the you know brave shield you got some kind of break coins, you know, I'm using Brave Browser right now. This is the Brave Browser, that, that's what BAT is. BAT USDT, right? So, but I'm gonna follow BAT. It is a browser, like the only, only thing that is a browser. Yeah, I mean, we know what it is, so we're gonna add BAT USDT. It's on Bybit. It's on Binance, basic attention token, right? It is an old coin, so it might happen. So I'm going to put it in Miss Shells because it's, it is a, a browser, right? There is going to be a lot of these coins that are going to be going to Miss Shells because, you know, reasons. So we're going to remove this one. That. Glimmer, I don't know about that. GLM, I don't know why we do this. GLM up here. GLM is actually holding nicely from the June lows. So I like any kind of coin that's holding nicely these levels over here, right? I like any coin that's holding nicely these levels on the downside over here. And the Glimmer did in the last bull, uh, bull run up here, something like, yeah, did 10x, 10x. Do we really care about 10x's? Of course we do. Most stuff is gonna do 10x and stuff like that. But when it starts going like, you know, which coin are you gonna take? This is just 5x from over here, but from the bottom down here, it did actually more. From the bottom, it did something like, you know, to, to all the way to top, something like 50x. But you know, the last move is like 10x, right? The last move is 10x, give or take. So this last move is like, yes, 8, 8, 9x, 8, 9x, give or take, 10x, right? We measure from the bottom down here, it's probably 10x, something like that, yeah, 12x, give or take, 10x. So a lot of these coins are gonna do 10x. But uh, Glimmer, I'm a little bit unsure about it, so we're gonna remove that. I, I don't think we, KDA, I think we have KDA down here in layers once. KDA is up there, so we got that. Uh, we're tracking KDA. Uh, rose 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 what does romeo says about rose romeo rose quote what is a name that which we call a rose by any other wo word would smell as sweet 
So declares Juliet as she laments the name of her beloved Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet. What is the name that we should call a rose by any other word would smell as sweet? So if you call the rose a poop, it will still smell as sweet. That is the name. And it's holding nicely these bottoms down here. But what is rose? What does rose do? What is rose crypto? As you can notice, guys, I do not know a lot about fundamentals and stuff. Rose Cube is here that powers Oasis Protocol, a layer of one blockchain that aims to provide privacy, privacy preserving and privacy. So it's privacy protocol, privacy preserving. You know, should we have a privacy coins like a Z, uh, uh, you know, like Monero, Zcash, Rose? Is Rose a privacy protocol? OIS is the first privacy-enabled blockchain platform for open finance and responsible data economy combined with a high profit secure. Let's not be able to provide private scalable DeFi. So it's a DeFi. So Rose is DeFi. We're gonna put into the ins inside DeFi. I think DeFi is, you know, where it should go. Meme coins, metaverse, DeFi. Rose is DeFi, right? It's privacy protocol, but should we have privacy coins like uh, like uh, Monero and Zcash and maybe in the Rose and just just put all privacy coins? Let me see what kind of privacy coins are. What are privacy coins? Privacy coins are cryptocurrency with privacy enhanced features designed to boost and limit and reduce traceability. They operate similarly to physical cash, but within a digital ecosystem. Are privacy coins really private? They're actually not private. The guys, nothing on internet is private. Yeah. What's up with Verge? Plus 100%. Ooh! Verge is the uh, Pornhub coin, isn't it? Verge. I, I, I don't think I can Google that over here, but you know. Didn't Verge have that uh, meme? I, I can try to find over here. So, uh, Verge. Pornhub. <laughs> I, I'm gonna do this in incognito mode, just so you know, my wife does, doesn't think stuff about me. Uh, there we go. Pictures. Yeah, did, did you guys see this? Being too large. Image being too large. Can't. What? You're not allowing me to copy the stuff. No, I don't want this one. Wait, wait. Verge. I, I want to copy this image. Just a second, guys. It doesn't let me to... Okay, we can do it like this. Print screen. Do this one up here. It is a Pornhub coin, guys. Uh, I, I don't know if you, if you know, but... Let's uh, put canvas. And take this one up here, and then, you know... Copy this and then we can actually pass. Yeah, that is nice. There you go. See here, Pornhub and Verge. They had the, uh, this was 2019, I think. When was this actually? I think this was 2019 when they had uh, this promo uh, with uh, promotion with uh, Pornhub. <laughs> uh, and you know, it, it I think it popped when it, it was that time. You can see nice girls, you know, in uh, Verge and Pornhub stuff, you know, going around with a car in uh, New York. See, this is Pornhub uh, account, and uh, they were promoting Verge. So, you know, every time I think of Verge, I think Pornhub. <laughs> so, there's that, but you know, I, I don't think we're gonna add Verge. I don't think we are, but what's happening with Verge? I Verge, uh, used long time since I actually they don't have USDT. XVG, XVG use USDT, Verge, Binance. Let's see up here. What the f, man? <laughs> it's up actually 351 percent. Can't find anything so far. It's up. It's not. It's up. To, you know, it might be up 300 percent for a day, but it's up 350 percent 
in two weeks look at the moves man look at the moves so that's this is this is the reason why we need to follow uh altcoins guys because once these starts uh you know once the because you can see up here there was a line up here it broke that it pulled back and then explode towards upside right so once this you know once these altcoins starts breaking these uh these uh these consolidation phases up here towards upside this is what's gonna happen to altcoins so that's why we are actually doing this right now we want to try to start tracking coins we first first thing first I want to have everything sorted. Second of all, I want to go through all of the coins and make the channels and then follow these channels until the breakout. And once they start breaking out, just, you know, rotate the money, you know, here and there. And maybe it's going to work out. Maybe it's not. But, you know, we are doing what we can. But Verge, you know, it already exploded like 350%. Damn. Porn, this Pornhub coin, man. Hey, Mark Harris, how you doing, man? Yeah, but we are not going to add, uh, add Verge. We are not going to add Verge. It already went above where it should be. Okay, I got some kind of gaming coins over here, and um, we added XC, we added Eng, we added Gala, we added Ilvi. We didn't add a Super. I think we need to add Super as well. Yeah, Super uh, July. Let's go to the weekly time frame up here. I like looking at the weekly time frames up here. Yeah, super, we need to add Super. So we're gonna add Super USDT down here. Uh, let's add Super USD. This is also a gaming coin, if I'm if I'm correct. Let me see if there is enough data on this. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, this is a gaming coin, so it's gonna go all the way up uh, to gaming coins, games and stuff, right? Super. So I'm gonna follow Super as well. And uh, so we got super TLM. I think I added TLM down here at, uh, yeah, TLM is added. So we're gonna remove TLM and we're gonna remove, uh, here comes, we're gonna remove this one. The rest, STMS, I don't know what this is, what this is. Pepe, we added Algo. I think we added Algo in uh, layer one, right? Uh, Algo is up there, right? So we can remove Algo. Uh, Alice, we added Alice. Anchor, I don't know if you add Anchor. Anchor, Anchor USDT. Let me look at the chart. Yeah, it charts okay. Uh, let me see what 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 is Anchor? What is Anchor for crypto? About Anchor. So far this year, Anchor blah, blah, the Anchor token is a native crypto Anchor network, a Web3 infrastructure platform that allows users to create and manage their own nodes, which may which they can use for different proof of stake blockchains. So it's just layer one is anchor layer one anchor is platform providing tools to streamline access to web3 alternative types of emerging blockchain ethereum polka among scores of other layer one blockchain so it's a layer one literally bought the top <laughs> i bought tlm at 40 cents that was a good buy no way tlm you bought tlm let me let me look at tlm 40 cents i mean it does happen man 40 cents 30 cents 35 40 cents up here no no wait 40 cents is up here oh you formed in up here man nice very nice well done man good job it takes skill to do those kind of things man it takes skill you're only down by 99% or something like that i'm guessing 90 98 only down 98% no problem man only down 98% yeah, let's add anchor uh, anchor because it's layer one like all layer ones like USDT all layer ones are, are We like all layer ones right anchor and we gotta put anchor in layer one Layer ones is like especially if it's proof of work layer one like that. Those are big ones, right? Uh, anchor somewhere up here, right anchor Anchor we can add anchor right audio I've heard there was a lot of audio, but it's old coin. It's old coin, so I'm a little bit unsure how this is gonna play out. What does audio do? You see up here, you know, June, there went down, pumped up here towards downside. How much was this pump up here? 400%. Can help you buy the tops. Yeah. <laughs> no, Adam Petrov, nice. Can you ask me? You can ask me for an H line. Anytime, you know what I'm gonna do? When stuff starts pumping towards upside, I'm gonna be like, Tausji, Tausji, hey man, you know, you think I should buy this? And if you say yes, I'm gonna put the biggest short of my life on that coin. <laughs> 
So you can see up here we are having a low and we are in a higher low up here so towards the upside we are having this you know downtrend over here and we having this line up here that's gonna break. But first it's gonna break up here then go up here then break this up here and then it will go towards the upside. Now how the, you know this can also do very very fast move but I'm a little bit unsure what uh, we gonna we gonna be trading this. A lot of coins guys everything right now is down at the bottom. It looks so good. Don't say buy when you don't want to buy. Yeah. You know what, when it comes to trading, right, Mlana knows that, right, you will see coins going down and you will have this thing about, oh my god, this is so bad, like, this is the worst thing ever. Then you look at the charts and there will be some kind of support level, like, on, on a weekly, monthly time frame, or really there, some kind of trend line, right? And you're gonna be like, you know what, this is such a bad buy right now because it's down so much that I'm gonna buy it. And you will notice that it holds that level. Should I buy more TRM now to get my average price lower? I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. Uh, I did that once and then it went more down. I, I bought something at a very high price and then it went down over here. So I bought more over here. So my uh, average are down here, but it went down over here right now. So yes, my average is right now here, but I'm still down by a bunch with more money. Yeah, so I don't know about that. I don't know about it. Yes, it needs to bump, pump less to get me, uh, you know, uh, in, uh, uh, you know, make even. But uh, I'm a little bit unsure about, you know, adding to, to uh, you know, crappy positions. It was my first bull market. Didn't know shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens. It happens. Audio. So I don't know about audio. Yeah, you know what? But what is audio? Audio is uh, this. Uh, what is audio crypto? Crypto. Audio. Audio's native talk, uh, currency token is used to compensate artists for a creator works with a stream from platform. Audio is that? Audio. Crypto. 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 Audio's. So this is, is this a streaming service? Discover new exclusive music, share, upload. So Spotify. It's like, so Audios is like bad, right? They have some kind of product. They have some kind of product and they have this coin that they're actually, you know, using with the product. So Bat has a, uh, has a web browser and it's using the Bat token to, you know, uh, uh, reward people. And the Audios have audio that's rewarding, the, you know, people who are streaming and stuff like that. Will this play out? I mean, the music is a big Web3 streaming platform. Yeah, Web3 streaming platform. So there are actually three things. There is a Bat, we can actually, we can actually make a new section because audio, bat, and the, there was an ultra are all, all in the same. Uh, let four. We're gonna. No, we're just gonna add new add section, and we're gonna add this new section called platforms. Platforms. I don't know what I'm gonna call, but we're gonna first put here audio. Use the T. We're gonna put audio up here, and we're gonna put. Uh, Ultra USDT Ultra also what's called Ultra? You I think it's UOS USDT Ultra yeah Ultra it's a Q coin so I'm gonna put that and the third one is Bat and Bat we put up here in the shells but we're gonna put it up here now audio is streaming service Bat is the browser and uh, Ultra is uh, Twitch so let me show you that guys Ultra is Twitch you Ultra Crypto Ultra application for gamers, right? It is Twitch for uh, for uh, for web, right? Ultra games, take control of game experience, unique marketplace, Ultra Arena. It is Twitch streaming service. So you can see up here, it is uh, they have the same kind of uh, Twitch stuff where you can actually stream games and stuff like that. So I, Ultra is also going in there, right? So I want to check Ultra because I think they actually did very nice. I was a moon boy. Everybody was a moon boy, man. But we are blue, we are no longer moon boys. Right now we are blue balls. Moon boys, you know, those are the new guys. Blue balls are the old guys, you know, because our balls are blue after the bear market. <laughs> so there is that. So you're gonna add um, uh, these platforms up here because there, there are a couple of coins that do have these kind of platforms. So we, you know, we can we can put them in there. Link EVT. I forgot what the EVT was. Okay, let's move on and see what we have more in the list that we need to remove. Bake. 
have you seen this but this is just bumbling towards downside bake blue moon boys <laughs> digibyte i don't know about digibyte man that's an old coin digibyte that, that's an old coin man 2018 i don't know yes it did have it did pump this this corona dump down here how much did this do 70 80x man digibyte did 70 80x how is this even possible what does digibyte do i don't know i what is digibyte what does digibyte do digibyte is a blockchain platform currency that was founded in 2013 yeah it's old one it's from 2013 but the fact that it's still around and does you know atx in the bull market like that you know the dgb token powers decentralized apps and smart contracts that are supported by digibyte platform digibyte uses the proof of work consensus method and supports multiple mining protocols uh, so it is proof of work i like proof of work anything proof of work is for me decentralization right Proof of stake for me is centralization and proof of work is this decentralization, right? So, but it's an old coin, Digibyte. Let's see Digibyte up here. Can you go to the website on Digibyte? Blockchain. Secret Raskia, from Tizer, Digibyte, Man and Rask Dita, what are Nick and Blockchain, somewhere we still. Is Digibyte layer one? Of course, it's layer one. FastQ layer 3 blockchain. A decentralized FastQ layer 3. What is a layer 3? What is a layer 3 blockchain? What's a layer 3 blockchain? Layer 3 is represented by blockchain based applications such as decentralized finance storage. So all of these, so all of these that are actually on a layer 1. Many of these applications also have cross chain functionality. So you get a layer 1 that's a main chain that other people build on that chain. And these other stuff that are building on the chain. So we got a layer one that's a you know proof of work chains. Then you got a layer two chains that are supporting the layer one chain to make the faster, secure, and stuff like that. And we got the layer three, which are actually apps. So everything is layer three. I made some money on Digibyte in the bull. Nice, very nice. Peer to peer payments in the gaming industry. industry. So I don't know. I don't know about. Uh, you know, are, are we gonna follow Digibyte? I mean, since 2013, so a lot of, you know, a lot of, you know, rich guys are still hodling this and, you know, they probably bought the 80% pumps up here towards the upside and uh, it might actually go very, very nicely towards the upside. So, everything, guys, you gotta know, everything has this right now exhaustion pattern on the downside. Do you know how explosive these exhaustion patterns are? Do you understand, do you understand magnificence of these exhaustion patterns? When they pump, they pump big time. Uh, I'm not uh, really sure that it's gonna pump big time, but it, they might do something like this. You can see up here on Digibyte, we had exhaustion pattern up here, and when this actually pumped, this was the first pump, right? Then we went to consolidation, and then we had the second pump up here. But the first pump up here on Digibyte, after this exhaustion pattern, was something like, you know, 10x, 10x. So a lot of stuff can do 10x up here from the bottom, right? Where is 10x? Wow, this, this is huge, this is 10x. 10x. So can we expect these kind of moves in the next, you know, because a lot, a lot of uh, these altcoins will pump before they actually, because this over here is March, this March, no, this is not, this is October. Yeah, over here started the bull run on Bitcoin, right? On the last part of the bull, bull market on Bitcoin, right? We start over here, but you can see prior to that, these bottoms up here and everything right now does 10x and then do another 10x towards the upside, right? Uh, if you want to, guys, if you want to know the TFN's club secret, a lot of people are watching uh, you know, because people don't know how high stuff is gonna go. People do not know how stuff, uh, st uh, high stuff is gonna go. So they use, so they use what's called, uh, uh, so they use what's called uh, Fibonacci extensions, right? Fibonacci, uh, not retracement by extension. So it goes towards the downside, and they look at these levels up here, 168, 268, whatever. They try to figure out how high they're gonna go. But these are just random numbers. These are just random numbers. What you wanna do, look at, you wanna look at the axis. You wanna look at the axis. 5x, 10x, 20x, 100x. These are important levels, right? And how do we do that? We go to the monthly time frame up here, monthly time frame, and you're gonna look from the bottom towards the top. From the bottom towards top right so from the bottom up here towards this top up here that was 13x maybe up here there was something like 10x see here 10x up here to the first pump so from the bottom towards the top this did 10x right give or take 10x right and then from the next move towards downside up here towards the top up here it did also 10x right so it did 10x two times 
and the X's are really are really important. So what we're gonna do in the next bull market, we're gonna look at you know where is stop gonna be, and it's gonna be X's. It's gonna be 10x, 20x, 100x, 50x. These round numbers, and they're gonna be from the very bottom of the move towards the top of the move. So you gotta figure out where the move started and when the move is gonna end. And the and the, this is a secret. I'm telling you guys, this is a legit TF Fans Club secret because I did discover this in the previous Meme, uh, Meme season. So right now we had Pepe Meme season that just started. And when I was looking at these coins going up and down and how they were moving, everything moves from the bottom towards uh, 10x towards top. Then it pulls back a little bit and does another 10x. That's 100x. And coins that do 1000x, they do three, three of these 10x's. 10x, 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 right? The, the, the entire move is not 1000x, but it is 10x first move, then pull back and next 10x pull back so it goes over here something like this right it goes something like this then that th then it does 10x then pulls back right but from over here it does another 10x and then it pulls back and then it does another 10x and pull uh, 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 pull x so 10x time, time 10, 10x is 100 times 10x is thousand so this is a thousand percent move but the entire move is not necessarily thousand x but it goes in these 10x moves all the time for some reason because nobody knows where how high it's gonna go but you know uh, people who are you know betting on these coins they're like you know what I'm gonna take profit on 10x 10x is good 5x is good if you got too much hype you know you know 5x is fine you're gonna take profit there so 10 the x is so you will see you will see other you know youtubers going around and looking at charts and looking at Fibonacci extensions trying to figure out one six two seven you know which level is gonna hold which where is the top and we're gonna be looking at X's we're gonna be looking at guys true this is the true TF fans cup secret not a lot of people know about this and I just discovered it. I actually want to make a TF fans cup you know a secret video about that but you know I never come I came around to that that said that's nice digibyte are we gonna track digibyte it did 80 so we're gonna do that but where are we gonna put digibyte in layer 3 by blockchain based on finance, finance DeFi games so this like everything like we can put just mrs cellos right digibyte dgb that dgb this should be a binance right it's just gonna put michelle because I, I really don't know where to put this right if you, Digibyte, very nice community. Of course it's got very nice community. It's been around since 2013, man. Everything that's been around for a very long time, it's got a nice community. Good morning, TL, good morning. Especially if they bought the top. Like, look at XRP. A lot of people bought, uh, you know, three bucks XRP. And right now, XRP is the best community uh, around, right? So, you know, the more people you can, uh, can form in at the top, the better community you're going to get at the end in the bear market. So, you know, remember that. You know, remember that. This way, like uh, Cardano has great community. Why? Because a lot of people form it on top, and then uh, the, the, the diamond handing those Cardanos. You know, so there is that. Okay, let's move on. So right now we're just going through this list and removing these coins that are not sorted. So we want to go sort these coins, then we're gonna go over what we have, and then we're gonna maybe add a couple more coins to that. So right here we got Bake. Uh, what is Bake? What, what is Bake Crypto? You gotta add crypto at the end of everything because it doesn't know. Bake is a native BAP20 bakery swap governance token. Governance, so the first thing the protocol what is in just like it is. So it's a governance token. I'm not really big into governance tokens. Are we gonna sort it as a governance token? Okay, let, let's make it. Let's make, I mean, there are a lot of DAOs, so you know, maybe maybe we're gonna add a new uh, new section up here, add section and called, uh, called it uh, DAOs. Governance token. DAOs are governance. Governance token, affirmative. What is DAO crypto? The central term is organization. Governance. Now let, let's let's say governance. 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 Okay, and let's put bacon in, into governance. Just because because if we got, got like three, four, five, you know, governance tokens, then we can put them all together in in one place, right? Governance token. Okay, and then we're gonna put bacon here. Bake. Uh, this one up here, and we're gonna put into a governance token and governance. No, governance gonna go down there, and bake is gonna go down there. So we got a governance token as well. Okay, that's that's bake. Let's move on. Uh, what do we have? Band, band, band was a, like bake is a pumpy coin, isn't it? If I'm not mistaken, 
look at it. this is what I like I like when they, we have capitulation around July and then you know we came to the bottoms right now we are at bottoms guys right now we are at so much bottoms such a bottom nice bottom okay so this is uh, this nice but what is banned where to put banned what is banned crypto basically we describe itself as a cross-chain data oracle platform aggregates connects real world data so banned and Bend and links are the same. Do you have VeChain? Yeah, of course we have VeChain. Of course we have VeChain. Yes, we have VeChain. So Bend, is, so we can have oracles. We can have actually Oracle protocol, and there are actually three, three, uh, three Oracle protocols. So let's add a new section and call uh, say uh, oracles. Oracle. Because in Meshels we have link. Link is down there, right? Uh, and the uh, base governance up here. We got link, and uh, we got uh, uh, we're gonna put band in uh, in oracles. Band, band, uh, use dt. We're gonna put band, and we're gonna put also api3, api3, because people are saying that api3 is gonna you know outperform uh, oracle, uh, outperform, uh, outperform link. So these are oracles, like link, band, and api3 are oracles. So, so we got three oracles. That's nice. At least three, you know, you know, two is nothing. Three is a section. Do you like seller? I held for a while. Ten percent moves. I have absolutely, absolutely no clue what seller is. I did hear about it. They hear about it here and there, but you know, I don't know what it does or what it is. Let's let's move on. So we got a band, Bitcoin Cash. We are not touching Bitcoin cash, guys. We are not touching Bitcoin cash. I don't care if it pumps like billion percent from the bottom towards the top, two hundred sixty-six percent. I I don't I, I really don't care whether this thing over here, you know, uh, uh, whether this thing over here really uh, goes to you know billion or something like that. I really 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 don't care. I really really don't care up here. It can do a 10x if it goes all the way up there, but you know, I, I really don't care about Bitcoin Cash. So I don't want to trade that. What is block? Why do I have block up here on the list? Oh, this thing died, man. Look at the move up, but can it? Just getting up here towards the resistance up here is like, you know, 170%. Uh, Blocktopia. What is Blocktopia? What is it? What is it? Blocktopia is a metaverse that seeks to unite the best of virtual reality, VR, and blockchain technology, fungible tokens, and NFT. The virtual reality of Blocktopia is possible thanks to the use of powerful 3D VR engine, which allows. So right now, you know, Apple has this. Oh, this can actually be good because uh, VR engine. Uh, you know, VR. Who's big on VR right now? Apple. This is metaverse. Good NFT, fungible tokens, and NFT. Like this, so all, all of this kind of good. The, the the question is whether there is. Blocktopia, the home of crypto. And their web page is kind of crappy. But yeah, you know, people are gonna buy this, right? Built and backed by Polygon, so it's nice, Blocktopia. So we're gonna put this in Metaverse, right? We're gonna, we're gonna track Blocktopia as well. But uh, we're gonna put Blocktopia. Blocktopia. It's on Qcoin. Blocktopia, and we're gonna put Blocktopia in Metaverse. Metaverse right here, right here. Blocktopia, there, there we go. So we got a Blocktopia. This can actually go high. I like anything Metaverse, I'm interested in. Cake, we have cake. Sell USD. I don't know about Celsius. Oh, this is Celsius. This is the thing that crashed, right? This thing that died. Is this the thing that died? I think this is the thing that died. Celsius died. CFX, I don't know what CFX is. But I, it is on Bybit. It is on Binance. It is on more data. And it did already explode big time up here. 20, 22x, 22x. Like I'm telling you guys, when it starts going up, like it was this, you know, 10x is 20x and stuff like that, right? 20x. 
How much was the first move? 16x and then went up here 10x. Yeah, so it pulled back up here. This can actually be, you know, right now it's pulling by this monthly time frame. So right now it can actually, you know, do another one of these moves. But what is CFX? Let's see, oh, what is CFX? Crypto? CFX is a unit of value on the platform seeking to enable tokens and holders to earn rewards through staking, patronization, and storage, part of you know, network governance. CFX also seeks to intensifies and reward miners ensuring the security. Let's see up here. Blockchain without barriers. Conflux enables creators, communities, and markets to connect across borders. Secure scale with reliability and staking and low fees. CFT economies build around CFT token and unit of value the platform and helps tokens holders to pay through actually. Uh, I don't know what, what is so this this is just a token for what? Confluence hydra hard fork is now live on mainnet, so you get a hard fork. Is this a is this a layer layer one blockchain or something like that? Is CFX layer one? CFX public layer one blockchain is the main power. Okay, so it's layer one. Yeah, we're gonna add we're gonna add this because it's on live it and it's. Oh, no. uh, we're gonna add CFX, USDT. we're gonna add, but we're gonna add Binance, Binance stuff up here. And we're gonna add as a layer of one because it's, it's a, it is a new coin. It is a new coin. So the new layer ones, like we should definitely have like some kind of new, new layer ones. They're always good. ABC, there's somewhere up here. See, see. That's normal chart of coin that's released in the bear market. Which one are you talking about? Which one were we looking at when you said that's a normal chart of... Yeah, a lot of coins that are released in the bear market goes, uh, you know, down and goes to the bottom and then explodes towards the upside. Unfortunately, unfortunately. But when the hype hits, like, everything, like, explodes. When the hype hits, people don't care. People are just buying with anything with nice images, graphics, you know. Somebody posts something on Twitter and says, hey, man, this might be good. Apple coin. <laughs> Tell it is layer to allow and deploying cross chain apps. Good tech. So how much uh, week? How much of seller do you own? <laughs> seller network. I mean the the bottom down here. You can see up here weekly. Uh, it, it is above a preview. This is actually good because it is above you know these the levels up here. It's right now hitting that's those levels. The were herbar. Yeah, herbar is on the list. Herbar is on the list. So this is like this, this is uh, June lows, June lows 2022, and uh, like everything that's not you know down here, like it's it's okay, right? It's holding uh, these highs up here. It's holding very nicely, creating some kind of oh, this nice line up here. Once this line up here breaks towards the upside, this channel up here. So first move up here, and then you know once this breaks towards the upside, it goes right. So this channel up here is very very nice. But right now it's some kind of bottom, and this just the first move up here can actually go something like 100% towards the upside, which is very nice. Seller network. I'm gonna check seller network. First of all, what is seller network? Layer two. Which is good. Layer two. Do we have layer two? Do we have? But what section of layer two are we gonna add? What is seller network? Seller network is layer two scaling platform that brings secure local blockchain on Ethereum, Polkadot, and other scaling platform. Okay, got it. Okay, it's a scaling platform, but. How do we do we have just something like layer two? What where do we put uh, you know uh, where do we put Matic in? Matic was uh, a layer two. Okay, so we're gonna layer two. We're gonna add seller up here. Seller layer two. Like layer two. USDT seller network. Layer two. We gotta we we gotta Matic OP and seller in layer two. Oh, it's actually operates on Ethereum. Sia coin, my friend, the mother of all storage coins. It's a storage coin, Sia. I don't know how big, you know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, we really don't care what, what it does. We care about, you know, when it breaks there. I saw a lot when I 18 next the last bull. You looked at it with me, recommend the sell when it blew up, so I did. I hold XRP now, but will buy seller with my, any XRP sales, nice. <laughs> I did not recommend anything. I just want to make that clear. I do not make recommendations. I give opinions. You know, you taking that as a recommendation is up to you. You know, I make opinions. You, you know, you do your money. I do my money. 
I did not make recommendations. Okay, we gotta sell it up there. Okay, let's move. We 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 need to continue clearing the list. We added this CKB. I think I added CKB down here, right? CKB USD. Yeah, I didn't we add CKB up here in, in the list? Uh, what was CKB? No. But I heard I'll talk about CKB. So let's let's go and uh, ask what is CKB crypto? The foundational layer of nervous. Nervous network is known as common knowledge base. The native crypto in the first layer is a fertile CK with CK by this currency serves as a store of digital assets and excuse smart contract. So it's a smart contract platform. Nervous network. Nervous network is a layer one built from modern. So so it's nervous network CK Bitcoin. Why didn't you call just nervous coin and then coin or something like that, man? Why why do you have it to make CKB decor? Nervous network. So it's a layer one, right? CKB is layer one. I turn your opinion into recommendation, you're right. <laughs> there you go. Till I'm missing out on these sweet, sweet XRP holder views. <laughs> Don't pass my by XRP. XRP guys, you're an XRP. I do believe in XRP though, when it comes to, you know, look at this chart, like XRP chart is nice, man. XRP is curving towards outside. XRP looks better than Link. There is a line up here. There is a line down there. there, there. Like this, and then explodes towards upside. And this explosive move up here is going to be legit, right? Look at CKB, CK bull wallet. Uh, I, I don't want to look at wallets, so. But CKB is later on, right? We can add CKB. CKB, USDT. It's later one, right? CKB is later one. Uh, CKB is later one. Layer one chains. Okay. So there is that. Okay, let's move on. Uh, what was that? Cos. Cos was. Uh, why did I add cos? So people talked about cos, right? I don't know what cos is. What is cos crypto? ERC20 token standard tokens built on Ethereum network so to use to intensify content production selection and for storage and application of content to network. I've the same to each other. Now I'm not quite really big in up here. Can't pass the laws. Now let's let's move on. Koti. I don't know about Koti. There are a lot of people. Koti. Koti is an o older coin. I don't know. I, I'm gonna look at Koti. How much hype is there uh, around Koti? Is Koti even popular? Like, yeah. Koti is a token that powers Koti, a project described itself as a DAG, direct ugly click graph. Uh, uh, isn't this uh, direct ugly click? Isn't this, uh, yeah, uh, isn't this the graph? Graph. Oh. What is the graph? So, um, so, uh, direct actually graph consists of DAG, yeah, the DAG is the Is graph that a direct layer graph is dark? Yeah, these are DAGs, but you know. And there are. Direct the clear graphs provide the developers with new ways to create Web3 world. Time to learn about DAGs. I don't know if I want to learn about DAGs, but um, I know the, the graph is the, a DAG. And. Uh, Koti is a DAG. This is trust chain and the same legend. So it's just a token or something like that. I don't know. Oh, Glimmer is smart contract parachain on Polkadot. 
RM field storage. Yeah, we added RM field uh, uh, AR. But we added AR under Mr. Shallows, not storage. I don't know if you want to have a section called storage. I don't know how excited I'm about storage coins. But, you know, there might be some kind of use case on that. Uh, Koti, I don't know. Let's just. Uh, nah, there are people, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. Let's move on. Let's not, you know. CTSI, I, I think this is. Uh, all the nice levels up here. CTSI. Let's go to CTSI. CTSI. Cartesian cryptocurrency uh, is a multi-purpose token that powers the Cartesian proof of stake network. It's a primary use for incentivizing Cartesian node operators to engage with the system. Honestly, as well as staking and paying virtualization fees in the system. Is it cryptocurrency? Is that cryptocurrency? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. What you guys think? CTSI? I don't know. I, people are not talking about CVT. Let's see CVT up here. Chart. Oh, this looks bad. Let's just, uh, I, I don't even know what CVT is. Dash. Uh, Dash. Dash is an old coin. Dash is a very, very old coin. What is Dash crypto? Dash crypto is built for maximum privacy and near instantization. When did Dash launch? 2014. 2014. Yeah, it's an old coin. Dash and Digibot Digibot is old coins. I'm not really excited about old coins. Like uh, Mlana says, like you know, old coins, you know, they might you know do well, but you know, the biggest gainers are on the new coins. Opinions on Matt is down. What kind of opinion can I give you, man? I'm uh, I'm a technical analysis. I am not a fundamentalist. I'm just trying to put this stuff in some you know some kind of a some kind of a you know boxes so I you know it's gonna be easier to you know sort the list. That's all. I looks like a nice wake of accumulation pattern. Spring about to happen. Yeah, people are know guys. You are maybe you might not be have bought Bitcoin at 20k or a 15k. Maybe you are not a Bitcoin blue ball, but you are definitely, definitely an altcoin blue ball over here right now. You know, not financial advice, but you know, you, you are blue ball because you are here. It has chart. <laughs> I, I, I probably it has chart, man. I need to go get something more to drink and like, clean up a little bit. So we'll be back. Let's put a nice image over there. Loading stream, be right back. And the music, where's the music? Wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee.
Chat. Cheer out of the time. <laughs> okay. Dash. I don't think we're gonna do dash. Dent. It's a dentist coin. I don't know how exciting that is, but uh, what is dent coin? Utility token. ERC20 token, smart contract is used all the instruments and then blockchain. Mobile type of service. I don't know about Dent, man. I know that, um, I think it was Ron or somebody else that was big on Dent. All of coins have this move down here. Capitulation move, climb up and right now they're gonna look explode. All coins. The Butin! I mean, I don't. What gems did you discover while I was gone? I did not discover any gems, but you know, we are, we are still sorting the list. We got something like 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 17, 20, 40, 60. We have 60 to 80 coins left to sort. So it's, ju it's just a sorting, it's just a sorting uh, stream, sorting stream. How much did Dent do? No. Clean. Uh, monthly chart. How much did Dent do from the bottom towards the top? 123x, man. 100x. Did this 100x the previous bull or market? But you know, it's not a new coin. That's what they're getting me worried because these these old coins can only you know don't have to go to all-time high. They can use us like something like 10x or something like that. Over here. But all broke the trend over here, and right now they're going to the secondary trend over here. And once this trend over here starts breaking, they're gonna do a nice pumps. That's what we're working. Holo chain. Dent. I don't know, what am I gonna put dent in? Utility token. Dent coin. Website. Dent. Mobile connectivity for messenger, fintech apps, and people, blockchain approved, explore, business personal, stay connected worldwide, mobile data on your smartphone, integrate an eSIM into your app or website, and eSIM as eSIM offering to carry, a local breakout, check in a random one. Mobile, some, some kind of mobile site. Mobile things about. Very close future where companies can easily skill and trust their manage their telecommunication, telecommunication services. I talking staking a backseat lately. Yeah, they gotta they gotta because we had a big you know moves on AI coins, so they gotta chill down a little bit and then they're gonna do new moves. But then I'm just gonna put in this cellos or something like that, right? Okay, let's add that then USDT. Uh, 
busy channels, okay. And uh, let's move on. DGB, Digibyte, we got that dock. Weekly time frame. Dock's also close. But dock is an old coin, man. Dock is an old coin. You see, I can move and lower high and lower high. I don't know if you want to trade this. New coins are a lot more exciting than old coins. Now, dusk. See the nice pump over here. Four X. A lot of stuff has these four X, four five X moves. Nah, we could, we're gonna DYDX. We have we have Edu. Edu is a new coin. Edu is a new coin. See here, it's just pulling back right now. But Edu is a new coin. What is Edu crypto? Edu coin. The Edu coin platform is designed to be a blockchain based decentralized global education service platform which facilitates the distribution of educated content, completion of education service through attraction through its native digital Edu. Open campus. Website, you do one. <laughs> website not available. Your official website is down, man. Edu coin, I did change it. Maybe it's this one. Everything you need to know about cryptocurrency. Uh, top price was crypto. So now. I don't know, man. It sounds, ske sounds sketchy when you cannot, uh, you know, from Singapore, when uh, the network is not, you know, your website is down, you got a 20k followers. Now nah, we're gonna jump over Edu for some reason. Eagle, I still don't know about Eagle. EOS, <laughs> Mladen, you tell me, should we add EOS to our list? <laughs> Look at this crap, man. It had a very high high up here, it had lower highs in the previous market up here. Are we gonna add EOS? Are we gonna track EOS? I don't know. Maybe we should make a list called old coins. A section called old coins. A section. Old, old coins. And over here we're gonna add EOS. And we're gonna add BTH. BTH. We're gonna have uh, Bitcoin Cash and uh, and we can add you know Digibyte up here as well. Because the old coin Digibyte for some reason, right? And uh, yeah, so we can have this old old coin section just you know just just reasons because people are still talking about it. XRP can go in there as well. XRP can go in there as well. <clears throat> okay, let's move on. So, Eagle, I don't wanna. Uh, I think we have Eagle. ERG USDT, what is this? This looks like crap, so we don't wanna look at it. Fear, fear is nice pump, but it looks like crap, you don't wanna do this. Fill is storage facility, right? Somebody mentioned that our AR and fill file is storage facility. Some kind of storage fossils, but it's lower than previous low down here, which you know it's even below the opening price up here at 10 bucks. If you make this sector and those pump while your regular pigs don't, you will feel really bad. <laughs> we have her bar, her bar is on the list already. Now, I don't wanna, I mean, these coins can pump. Like, I'm not saying that all coins cannot pump just because they are not on the list, it's not like they are not gonna pump, it's more like we cannot have thousand coins on the list. We are not, like we said, we are not crypto market cap, we cannot have all the coins, you know, we cannot track everything, it's just not possible. Firo, Firo is, uh, was uh, uh, coin skid coin, he was shilling that for a while. Fitfi is one of these, uh, you know, oh, this, this chart looks bad, man. This is an extremely ugly chart. It can have nice pumps up here, like over here, but you know, you never know when that's gonna happen. 
Like this one up here is 200% more. Maybe it's gonna have like, you know, 10x move up here for some reason. But the thing is, you never know when this is gonna be over. You never know when this is gonna be over. You never know when this is gonna be over. just go a little bit up here and then pull down again you know for whatever reason it's gonna go below zero but you know it's, it's pretty low herbar is on the list herbar is on the list but fit fi fit fi and uh, uh, what was the other coin called gmt gmt i think it was called gmt the big one right the step step on that step and yes that, that's GMT coin right <laughs> so step and a fit uh, fit fight those are two you know working coins or something like that I don't know you put in your shoes or something like that and you track the steps and then you generate cryptocurrency or something like that right if I remember correctly so Nah, we're gonna pest. Glimmer. All of these coins are gonna GMX. Oh, GMX actually looks okay ish. What is GMX? I think GMX. What is GMX coin? GMX is gonna change. Dex for trading per personal currency. I think we have GMX. It's a DEX. I think we have GMX on the list. Yeah, we have GMX on the list. The graph. Now I'll come with the, to the graph. The graph, it's already going up here. It's close, but not, uh, no, it's not this one. It's this one over here. Yeah, it's a resistance up here. So this is very close to breakout. Soul Network, like the wife who's uh, pointed you lots of times, but now she might be okay. <laughs> Dimitri. So, the graph, the graph might actually pump. Uh, but the graph is a DAG. The graph's open source software hosted on Ethereum blockchain. So layer two open source just means uh, like what's going on. This is collect and store data from blockchains and Ethereum and knowledge so it can be searched by users. It's a it's a it's a it's a Google for blockchain. So that that's what the people are, are, are saying about the graph. It's a Google for blockchain. So it's basically a search a searching you know tool. But uh, why is this necessary? I don't know. But uh, the June lows up here went high and right now pull back up here. It's having a spool flagish thing up here that might actually break towards upside. So what do we put this in? Michelle's? I, don't, I think it's Michelle's. Get it. The graph. I'm gonna put Michelle's just because of reasons. The graph. Because I don't know where else to put that. Glimmer in a hot. Isn't hot the uh, whole chain? Oh, yeah, it's Ethereum token price uh, powers whole up the uh, three peer platform for whole chain apps. Whole oh, apps, yes, who holds the apps? I personally can't see the receipt of the tokens at the time. Lower, 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 lower. I don't know, it looks kind of weak. I don't know, I'm not big in the ICP, I don't wanna touch ICP guys. I'm sorry, but you know, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. Just like I explained to you before, uh, anywhere where you have a big move towards upside and then bleeds down, you create a huge community, but community doesn't always know the best, right? Now this might pump big time, of course, like everything else, but uh, I don't think I wanna track ICP. Do you wanna track ICP? 
for another DeFi. ICX. Icon is currently a complete doge. It's also a coin. Icon is also old coin. Now nah, let's uh, let's move on. EMX. I think we have EMX. Uh, we put that into the. Uh, there you go. We got EMX. Okay, we can move that. EMX. Jasmine. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Jasmine, guys. I don't want to talk about Jasmine. Anybody mentioning Jasmine gets a ban on the channel. Nah. Kava, I think we have Kava as well. Uh, KDI. No, I'm not. What's Kava coin? Nintendo Kava lending, lending platform, okay, so DeFi. Yeah, we have Kava. Up here, so we can remove that. KNC, Kyber Network. Ooh, Kyber Network. For some reason, a lot of people are excited about the Kyber Network. But the last time, it only did like three X. So I don't know if I want to watch this. KSM. I think we have KSM as well on the list. No, we don't have KSM. Okay, let's see what is KSM coin. Okay, Kusama network, which is Canary. Canary network, I don't know what Canary what What's Canary? What is Canary Network? I don't know what Canary Network is. Blockchain a Canary Network is a pre-testing environment used to safely test features. Canary Network. Blockchain a Canary Network is pre-testing environment used to. Safe test features and first thing to make network is a proper chain of its own and emulates most of the old features of the main blockchain is designed to test. What does that mean? I don't know. Well, it's Canary for Polkadot, so it's a it's a it's a test net a test network for Polkadot. I mean, it sells a nearly identical copy of Polkadot chain to test the new features before they are released on Polkadot. So why should this have any kind of value whatsoever? It's just basically a test net. Am I wrong on this? Wrong on this? Or is this a? Do we have just me yet? <laughs> No, Ordi is new to me. Ordi, yeah, the problem with Ordi is that uh, Ordi is uh, the BRC20 tokens and uh, I don't believe that much in BRC. I think that was a hype and that's uh, died out because it overloads the Bitcoin network and uh, I don't think they wanted to have it up there. So, you know, I'm a little bit unsure about those. But the Kasuma network, it seems like it's just basically a testnet. Am I wrong with this? It seems like it's testnet for Polkadot, like basically testnet. So why should it have any value? I don't know. Let's look at a KSM token. I mean, I mean, does I uh, have some kind of value? It's like worth twenty-five. You know, and, uh, every single one is worth twenty-five up here. So, ten. You can do ten. I say, Kasuma. I don't know. LRC. LRC did the uh, two hundred X, but it did high, and did a higher high up here. Over here and uh, right now it's down there a lot. But Loopring, a lot of people are talking about loop, Loopring. Full Moon cycle is coming. Yeah, Full Moon started already. It's today, man. It's today. Zilica. Yeah, we're gonna add Zilica. We're gonna come to Zilica. We are, we're not quite there yet. I think we add Zilica somewhere. Uh, if not, we're gonna add Zilica. Zilica is definitely going on the list. But this thing did a 200x, man. Loopring did 200x and they created a whole bunch of, you know, Four more people up here, and right now these people are down by 90% or something like that, right? 90% if not more. So it is holding this you know previous low down here. They did not pump that much up here, up here. It's still getting lower lows, still going down over here. Loopring, but a lot of people are into loopring, so if it pumps it might pump a bit down, right? Okay, what is loopring? Loopring LRC is Ethereum la layer 2 scaling protocol and labs building. Okay, so it's layer 2. 
Those for the next kind of So it's late. Okay, so LRC goes into layer two. LRC USDT. So we're gonna put L uh, you know looping into the layer two stuff. Layer two. So seller optimus matic all these layer twos, right? Uh, we can also do Zilliqa, you know, right away. Zilliqa is a blockchain created to solve Ethereum scalability and through the Ash protocol Zilliqa's core. It's a good foundation. So it's a layer two. It's Zilliqa layer. Zilliqa blockchain versus other blockchain. Zilliqa runs on its own layer one blockchain, although it was first launched as an ASC20 token on Ethereum blockchain. Zilliqa is the first blockchain to rely entirely on sharding to tackle the issues of scaling. Isn't this layer two then? Zilliqa is a layer one blockchain. It's a layer one. Up here in uh, layer one. Okay, we got a silicone up here. Yeah, layer one. There we go. Okay, so LRC, we added LRC Litecoin. Litecoin, we gotta have Litecoin, but we're gonna add Litecoin and coins. LTC, USDT. And we're gonna add it into just coin xrp litecoin and stuff like that dogecoin and stuff like that right they're not very specific it's just a coin but it's a 20 layer 2 <laughs> maybe 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 layer 2 burst 20 is coming is the moon on the four hour or one hour chart yet i haven't checked it out but you know it should be out Yeah, it's already out. On the, it's out on the daily. It's out on the daily. See? The daily, we already have the moon. So it's all good, man. The moon is out on the chart. So it's all good. Change to like BNB and Nexo. Don't know how good they'll be with SEC these days. Yeah, BNB is not going anywhere. Nexo, I'm not quite sure about. Okay, let's move on. Uh, that was uh, uh, Litecoin. Maker. I think we have Maker. Yeah, I think we have Maker. Maker is the DeFi, uh, DeFi stuff, right? Up here, DeFi, uh, Maker. Yeah, we have Maker on the list, so we can remove that. Uh, Mover, I don't know about this one. Yeah, you know, uh, I added uh, move, uh, move, dot moves. I added this one a while back because, you know, there was a lot of talk about it. And uh, let's uh, add... I'm a little bit unsure about mover though. Atom, we have Atom. Atom is on the list. Uh, nah, let's move more. MTRG. Is this the Mithril? MTRG. USDT. No, meter. What is meter? But this is July. June. Two lows and still, you know, it's still going sideways up here, which is very nice. What is meter coin? Not very good. Meter governance is governance coin. It's a DeFi infrastructure building meter. Uh, the platform claims to function as a high performance, high decentralized sidechain of Ethereum and a multi other chain. Meter governance It's a governance coin. I don't know, it's some kind of government's coin. I don't know if you wanna you know, trade this, but yeah. MTV, let me look at the chart of MTV. Wow, this. Do you know what these kind of charts tells you? These kind of charts tell you that, you know, the, 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 the value of these things is around 0 0.0, you know, one. And this is just hype. This is, this is the real value of the coin. And all, all, everything up here is just hype. <laughs> Herbar and Filecoin. We got a Herbar, but uh, we haven't added Filecoin. It's a storage thing. Multi-chain. Multi-chain dumped down big time because there was uh, something happened with multi-chain. 
and you can see up here it explodes towards upside and something happened i don't remember whether that was a hack or somebody got arrested in multi-chain and then we were talking about how that might affect uh phantom and uh it is down by a bunch now it can do stuff but you know this chart doesn't look good so i don't think we're gonna follow multi-chain nkn was one of these coins that was shilled by uh uh bitcoin fund managers once you know, uh, upon a time and uh, then you know i think it went a little bit up or something like that but you know we're not gonna follow that og origin protocol i think a lot of talking about origin protocol but this chart actually looks very very bad i don't know why but this actually looks very very bad so we're not gonna follow this omg also this chart up here looks very very bad it might pump but you know a miss ago it's also old coin op we have pdex pdex is a decentralized Polkadex is a centralized, decentralized, 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 decentralized DEX of a Polkadex ecosystem. So we're gonna add that PDEX just because PDEX is on Qcoin. Uh, let's see up here. PDEX. There we go. These are the DEX exchange right there. We got a PDEX up here. So this is a Polka box. Pepe, we have Pulse Polka Starter. I don't know what Polka Starter does. It says something to do with Polka ecosystem, but you know, we got a we got a dot, we got a PDEX. Polka Starter is like a launching, I think it's la launching platform for Polka dot or something like that. But you know, these launching platforms. If you remember, there is uh, this uh, Warrior uh, uh, launching platform from MM Crypto software. I don't know how. Warrior. What is it called? MM Crypto Warrior. Warrior coin. Good morning, good evening. Uh, not this one. I don't know what's what is this V coin called from the MM uh, Crypto? I, I don't know. It's a launching platform. It's a pad. Yeah, it's a pad, but uh, Axelar. Yeah, the, these pads. Uh, uh, Polka Start is a pad. The, uh, the MM Crypto coin is a pad. Podcast, yeah, and I'm not so big, yeah, like, but you know, if you want to launch something, you want to launch it where there's a people actually. So, you know, Binance Launchpad or something like that, that might be the thing. Uh, peer, people are talking about peer, it is, it has the same chart as uh, it has the same chart as uh, Link, <laughs> it has uh, the same chart as Link. So, we're gonna have peer, but I if you have to figure out what what is what is peer coin, peer coin. what is peer coin. Pierce utility tokens used to buy NFTs and other virtual assets in the Vulcan Forge in-game marketplace with Vulcan Forge games. Yeah, so the peer is up here, Vulcan Forge price. So this Vulcan Forge is like, it's like uh, isn't it a uh, platform like uh, like Ultra, like Twitch and stuff like that, right? Where is it? Uh, Vulcan Forge peer peer. Uh, so there is a web page up here somewhere. Vulcanforge.com. Yeah, explore depths of the Vulcan Forge ecosystem, immerse yourself, and play to earn fantasy games. Join for free, blah blah blah. Vulcan Dex, they got a Dex. They got a Dex, they got a marketplace. Dex, Agora, MyForge. It's a platform. We're gonna put it in the platform. We're gonna add that here. Pre use DT. It's on Binance. We're gonna put it, we're gonna put it in platforms. We got a platforms up here platforms i think peer is platform coin or something like that right they are marketplace and at least some kind of platform we're gonna check it out okay let's move on uh over here q and t oh that chart looks okay june uh june, june lows it's up here it looks like it's gonna break up yeah we're gonna follow q and t but what is q and t and which kind of sector does q and t go what is q and t coin QNT is an Ethereum token that is used to power quant network overledger brand and enterprise software so which aims to connect public blockchains to private networks. Overledger was designed to act as a gateway for any blockchain-based project to access all other 
So gateway to access all other projects across all other projects. It looks like it, it, it looks like it's popular. It looks like there might be something to this, right? Peer is like a gala, but better. Multi-chain interoperability. Yeah, you know, when it comes to you know technology and stuff like that, like uh, I can understand like big words, you know, stuff like that, and maybe I can put you know two and two together how this actually works. But you you know, I'm not into the, you know. If you want to know what's happening technology-wise, you follow Ivan Tech. If you want to know which coins are you know uh, right now very you know hyped, you follow uh, Bitboy. And uh, if you want to know whether a chart looks good or not, you follow me. There is that, but Q, Q and T, Q and T. Let's go to Q and T price today, Q and T up here, Twitter, website, quant network. It's a network, it's a quant network. There's some guy talking, overlays the foundation of blockchain. Yes, yeah, so this might actually play, perform well and might actually do well, but um, about us. So let's, uh, I don't know. Can somebody tell me what Q and T is? Is Q and T layer one? Is this layer one platform? This is paid to the current region in fiat currency for twelve months. And they have two channels. It's a layer two. If you want to buy best meme coin, you ask me. Yeah, exactly. So we got you know I want to take for technology, Bitboy for fundamental hypes. The charts for you know uh, TLA and Mimi coins you ask Maladen. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna put this in uh, in a layer two for whatever reason. It seems like it's layer two. Q and T. Layer two. I think I think uh, I might be wrong, but you know I think it's layer two. Uh, realm, oh realm, we gotta have realm. Realm, we gotta have. But it chart looks ugly. But I still wanna follow realm because I like the look. Look at, uh, look at the price up here. Exploded three hundred sixty percent, four x, five x. Technically, it exploded five x. And look at this bleed down here, man. Look at the bleed from the top over here towards down. So look at this bleed. But realms, realm up here. I, I like, you know, anything, anything games related, I like live show with you and Ivan on tech. <laughs> yeah, that'd be something. I don't think, I, I, I don't think me and him are, you know, we are very close by, you know, I'm normally he's with, you know, we, we can get something. You know. That's an ugly chart. Yeah, exactly. This is a super ugly chart, but, uh, but I don't know what's happening with this. It's a super, but I, uh, I was excited about Re Realm. I actually wanted to get Realm coin. I want actually to get some of this, but uh, you can see that it's, it's a good idea that I didn't. Realm art. Yeah, it has public beta or something like that on this. Uh, they got uh, some portal sticking. They got say, you know, nice flashy stuff. Y y y y you know, I don't know why it's going so much down. Maybe, maybe the coin, maybe realm coin. The realm coin. It, maybe maybe the reason it's going down so much is because it's one of these coins that are very inflationary So if it's some kind of game it's an in-game currency Just like in World of Warcraft for example you got gold which gets inflated like you know what every single expansion So people are buying you know other stuff that are you know going out of uh, out of business and uh, they're gonna uh, hold value Because if you hold gold in World of Warcraft it just gets inflated so much every single expansion so if this is some kind of you know currency in game in game currency, then it's not very you know it's it's a normal projection that it should go continue going down or like forever, right? Because it just gets you know flatted out, right? So I don't know. Nah, we're not gonna follow that. Ren, what is Ren? Ren just got the same chart like everything else. Uh, but uh, what is Ren? Ren is Ethereum token that powers Ren open protocol for transfer capital between blockchains. Ren aims to bring popularized Bitcoin Zcash to blockchain. Blah 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 blah. 
I'm not so excited about it. Rec requisite. Oh, this one is. Uh, this one has some kind of hype. It's been pulling back down. It's never bounced anywhere. But uh, rec coin. What is rec coin? Rec is Ethereum token that powers net request network. Yeah. Protocol of creating and requesting payments. Rejection of requests and kind of mutable. Go and request books without an immediate. Uh, is REC a good investment? Investment in REC over long term or is profitable based on available statistics? I don't know about that man. Long term investment in REC uh, so far haven't actually played out. So you know there is that. RLC EX. This also, this chart also looks okay. So we gotta follow this because you can see the lows down here in June and this actually been going towards upside up here a little bit. So it has this channel up here towards upside and once this channel actually breaks towards upside up here, what might, might, might be something about some button, but over here once it breaks up here, this is gonna explode, right? So we wanna catch that. Hi mate, SRM, serum please, SRM. Serum what? Serum what? So RLC, but what is RLC? RLC is not producing yeah, so the centralized computing. The centralized computing platform built for Ethereum blockchain allows users to make money on their spare computing power by renting to others. But it's basically, uh, if it's built on Ethereum, it's basically layer two, right? Uh, is RLC layer two? Yes. Yes, RLC. As a layer two search engine, yes, yeah, it's layer two. So we're gonna just put layer two, you know. Uh, LC USD, USDT. Just gonna put in uh, in layer two batch up here. Layer two. It does something. Maybe we're gonna switch it around uh, later, but you know, render we have render. Uh, SU USD. I don't know what SU SU is. Sia coin. It's old coin. Uh, I'm really excited by new coins, not old coins, but you know, there's that. We cannot SC. What is SC coin? SC coin is Netflix, uh, blockchain based uh, platform CX is here. Blah, blah, blah. Not, not exciting. Either. SLP, yeah, SLP is the C over here, just like we talked about gold in uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, SLP is a native currency of. Uh, in-game currency of uh, X Infinity, and of course the projection of the you know, uh, these kind of currencies is always towards NASA because they get inflated so much. So we don't care about that. SMB, SNX. What is SNX? What is SNX? What is SNX? And the music stops, so we gotta we gotta listen to something else. SNX net currency of synthetics protocol. I think we have SNX down here. Yeah, we have SNX. Uh, I think that's AI. Not games, not metaverse. It's DeFi, SNX. Okay, we got SNX and DeFi. Yeah, that was the coin that we actually changed around. Uh, okay, so SNX is done. SNX sushi we have. Tell. T fuel is Tata. We're not gonna do T fuel. We talked about that. Tell. Tell coin. Tell coin. Tell coin. What the F is Tell coin? Pumped a little bit. It goes too much hard towards dancer. I don't know. I don't care about Telco. Tomo, Tomo Chain. Ooh, Tomo Chain. Oh, look at that move, man. We already missed the move on Telco Chain. Look at that move. That was a 10x move, right? 900% is 10x. 10x is not 1000%, it's 900% because, you know, 100% is 2x. You know, and 200% is 3x, 400% is 5x, so forth, so forth, and 900% is 10x. So I told you guys, these things do 10x and then I pull back, right? So this already did 10x up here 900 percent from the bottom towards top i told you tfn's top secret guys do not miss it tell me one coin to buy <laughs> no thank you no thank you not right now srm 
Tomo chain. Tomo chain. So this did 10x. It's gonna pull back. It might actually do another 10x, right? So like we said, these things that do 10x one time pull back and then they do another 10x up here next time, right? So we gotta follow what 10x is gonna do. Uh, so what is Tomo chain? Tomo chain is blockchain network that uses delegated proof of stake. Consensus mechanism. Fifty knows Tomo chain to be public. EVM compatible with chain with following. Yeah, is Tomo just layer one? I think Tomo is layer one. Is Tomo layer one? Is layer two? I don't know. Tomo chain, let's see. Tomo chain, public blockchain. Uh, stake voting what it is, what is double verification. Uh, it's a EVM, but uh, please. I don't know, I haven't been looking at altcoins, so I wanna do the list first, then I wanna do uh, the, the channels on all, all, of the ch uh, all of the coins, and then I'll tell you, you know, what I think. There is not actually a lot more a lot of coins, did we actually do so many coins already? We got two, let's uh, remove these coins that we do not want. Uni, we have Uni, in the swap. Uno. OS, we have that. I don't know, when chain, we win XLM. I think we added XLM, XRP, XTZ, and uh, OFI. I don't know. So we got only, only five more coins, guys. Only five more coins. One, two, six more coins to clear. And the list is clean, guys. And the list is clean. And then we're gonna look at this. But Tomo, what are we gonna put Tomo in? Let's just put it in. Uh, let's just put uh, Tomo in uh, layer two. File. Why is everybody talking about Filecoin, man? What's so special about Filecoin? Tomo chain. Okay, we got a Tomo. You gonna just put layer two? It's not layer two. It's layer one. It's Tomo layer two or one. It's Tomo layer. Layer one or layer two blockchain. Chain. <laughs> I have absolutely no clue. Everybody is must include Tom Chain. Is the first step of the reference presumption of time. We believe the problem is with the specific layer one blockchain. We will assist in various. Uh, I think towards onboarding using Web3 lens to Tomo Chain to Tomo Chain since we are official world to this layer one blockchain. So Tomo Chain is layer one. Tomo Chain is layer one. Big partnership prospects retraced massively. Falcon storage. How much do you own of uh, Falcon, man? How much? Percentage wise. Uno. Uno re. Is this your coin, man? Uno? No, that's not Uma. Uma is not the coins, but nah, this doesn't look. This one of these coins that I added for whatever reason. And VTH also added because it was a hype. Van, I really don't care about Van. There was wind that this thing actually pumped like crazy up here, pump and dump coin. 
and uh, don't care about the XTZ. This charge just looks bad. Tezos. Oh, Tezos. We have Tezos. I think we have Tezos in layer one. XTZ. Yeah, we have Tezos. Tezos. There we go, guys. The rest. The rest is done. Finally finished. We did the uh, three parts of uh, altcoin preparation. Three days we've been sorting the list and the list is finally finished. So what do we have on the list right now? Let's check it out. We got a Bitcoin Ethereum, we got a whole bunch of Bitcoin coins because we gotta know a lot of you know different charts and see you know what's happening. We got a we got a dominance chart up here, we got a Bitcoin CME futures, a regular exchange charts, Bybit chart, and we got Ethereum because we, know, we always need to know what's happening with Ethereum as well, right? Ethereum, see good charts goes towards upside. These are these are these are strong coins, right? And then we got index and the dollar, we always track those. We got some metals, gold, silver, and oil, always track those. Then we have the charts. So we got these layer ones, right? A whole bunch of layer one coins. A whole bunch of layer one coins. This might this these might actually go on other stuff. Then we got um, uh, centralized exchanges, BNB, BGB, uh, Crow, GT, uh, HT, uh, Qcoin, uh, uh, Bit, uh, Bitfinex, uh, Max. Then we got the centralized exchange, one inch ARP, Cake, some other exchanges over here, right? We got some kind of AI coins over here. We got Malarian coins. Malani, if you want to add anything to your list, you're welcome to say so. Chili Zopi Turbo Uma XRP. We got some Meme coins that are, you know, still around, like Baby Dodge and uh, Floki, and then, uh, you know, Dogecoin and Shiba are, you know, the new uh, new coins. And Elon also over here is old coin. And new, newest one is Pepe. Pepe, Dodge, and Shiba are the big ones. Then I would say uh, Elon and Baby Dodge and Floki down here as well. These are important, you know. Meme coins that might give us indication of uh, when Meme season is starting and stuff. Games and stuff, uh, games, gaming platforms, stuff like that, right? Uh, we got some kind of gaming coins over here. That's nice. Metaverse, Ape, Engine, Mana, Sand, Expectra, Block. Looks like Metaverse, right? We got some kind of DeFi coins over here. Uh, you know, interesting that. Let's see. And then the week, uh, we, I, I don't know how to sort these, so you know, they are Michelas. The, girt, uh, the, the graph is up 13%. This is the Google of internet. At least that's been saying about that for a long time. Matt is a layer 2. OP, Teller, Looping, QNT, Alert C. Where is Render? Render is a layer 1, right? Layer is uh, Render. Uh, let me just double check. Do we have Render up here? No, Render is not. Uh, what is Render? Render is AI coin. Yeah, that's why it's a popular with them. And then we got the DeFi coins up here, and Michelos, uh, we are layer 2, uh, just coin, XRP and Litecoin, I don't know, you know, these you know, coins, where, where do you put them, it's Michelos. I don't want to have a section just with two coins, there's going to be three or more. Governance token bake, we only have one, so we might actually change that. We got or some kind of Oracle coins, link band, then AP, layer 3, and then we got some kind of old coin just because reasons down here in the back. So, the list is pretty much done, guys. Uh, the next part is uh, going through the list every single coin and uh, doing stuff like this over here clear everything make the you know a chart make make the channel big channel go a little bit uh, tighter into the uh, into the chart make the smaller channel and then uh, look for uh, look for the move <laughs> that, 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 that's the trick guys that's the trick that's the trick uh, on, on the charts and look for everything and then track everything put some kind of you, you know put some kind of alarm clocks on everything once that starts breaking put alarm and uh, wait that, that's our game plan guys that's our game plan hope you enjoyed the stream this was a two and a half hour stream so there is that but yeah at least we are done with at least we got a sort the list I'll post okay, can I just copy the list make a copy last logo how do I copy share the list can we share the list copy link okay there we go copy link I can share the list with you guys up here trading your watch list there you go so I'm gonna also share the list. The list is done. The list is done. Check my watch list. There we go. I'm gonna pin this. There we go. So everybody have the list. That's nice. Guys, thank you for stopping by. I'm gonna take a little bit break, then I'm gonna look at coins and stuff like that. But you know, I wanted to do this, you know, list sorting, you know, for a while now. 
How many coins do we have right over here right now? 140 coins, but you know, here are the 10, 20, at least, you know, it, 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 there's still 100 coins in, in the list, you know. Like we said, why fall are asking, are we rich yet? <laughs> uh, yeah, tell her, just, just, just say, wait, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And then, uh, you know, eventually it will happen, right? The 2025 guys, if you're not made it by 2025, you know, I don't know guys, you know, it's gonna be really painful, you know, during the next bear market. I mean, this is the movie I'm having right now. This is the movie I'm having right now, but this move over here, where is it? This first move over here, this is very painful because you're already at the top, so you're losing fate, you go down, then you have some kind of hope and the fate get lost. Like this move down here is very, very painful over here. Down here at the bottom is also very painful because you saw what happens at the bottom. Like everything, uh, everything crashes, uh, you know, people get liquidated, the dumps are big, you know. Everybody talks about tanky, everybody talks about how everything is dead and then you start moving towards upside, which, which gives hope over here. Then, then this part over here is also going to be very bad and then this part up here is going to be good and then I really don't want to go through another one of these more another one of these moves down here because this move down here we are waiting down here to buy low so we can make it up here but I want to make it up here so I don't have to wait you know it's gonna be you know waiting on the beach the, you know this move is gonna be waiting on the beach and then we're gonna just come back up here and then do another move towards upside I have a five-year plan here <laughs> it's no longer a five-year plan right now it's uh, uh, this is a uh, hundred bars yeah two-year plan you need to have a two-year plan right now. That five-year plan goes from, you know, back up here. But, you know, that, uh, that five-year plan is pretty much done. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I'm gonna go do stuff. Enjoy the day. Thank you for helping me figure, you know. Uh, thank you for help, help, helping me, you know. Uh, thank you for helping me make the list. It's nice list. We're gonna expand the list and, you know, we're gonna remove some coins from the list and stuff like that. And, you know, at least, but at least everything is sorted. It, it wasn't sorted before and it was really bothering me. So, you know, having stuff sorted is nice. Enjoy. Thanks, Vic. I'll see you around. Bye-bye. Let's have a little bit outro music and then, you know, have a nice day. Bye-bye.